Hey guys, welcome to Devo's Weed Chronicles. I'm your host, Devo. I'll be taking you on a journey with stories about people, places, and things that you probably will not believe, but they're actually true. Today's story is about more like an, a, a, um, a, a warning to people that are fixed to get a tattoo. This is a story for you guys. If you've never had a tattoo, you're fixing to get one. This is some advice for you. One time, a very long time ago, back in 1980-something, uh, me and three friends were living together in a trailer and working in a factory at a nearby town. We worked night shifts, so we got up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, that particular morning, we got paid, and uh, all of us like to drink smoke. I mean, that's mainly why we were all together is because we like to smoke. We decided that, well, hey, you know, let's go splurge and uh, stay up all day. Didn't have to work the next day. Let's uh, go get hammered, eat a good lunch. And uh, and I was sitting here thinking, wow, you know what? I've been wanting this tattoo, uh, a tattoo. Let's get a tattoo. I'm going to get a tattoo. Oh, wow, great, great, great. Well, when we left where we were at, it was a good 45 minutes to get to where we lived. And another 45 minutes to where we're getting tattooed. We had a jug of whiskey, a righteous bag, and it's illegal back then. So we're twisting, rolling, drinking, having a good time, except the driver. My driver was a, a, a very straight up guy, so he didn't touch nothing all day. We're driving. I'm whittling on this bottle. We get to where we're going. We're doing things, you know, and I didn't eat anything. So I'm pretty well blitzed by the time we get to the tattoo house. What I mean is a house. Now they're shops. Back then, we had to wake the guy up, or his wife did. He comes staggering in the living room with no shirt on. We walked down to his den, or we were waiting in his den, which was an old garage, concrete floor, with a lawn chair sitting in it, a car battery, and some things hooked up to that to make a, a tattoo gun. Hey, I wanted a tattoo. We go down into the guy's basement. And it's obvious this guy's perturbed. He'd been up all night, I guess, giving tattoos. I, I, I was drunk. The first thing out of his mouth was, I can't stand drunks. I'm like, uh, okay, well, hey. They bleed everywhere, and they don't shut up, and they're no, 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 no. I'm like, hey, okay, cool. And, before you know, and I was mouthing him, going back and forth with him, you know. Don't ever mouth your tattoo artist, people. I eventually passed out. In where, in somewhere between the stenciling and the actual tattoo because when I woke up, I was done. My friends were in the car and were driving. I had a patch on my arm. They never said one time, hey, man, let me look at your tattoo. They all were just real quiet. I'm like, uh, you know, that's weird. I didn't even feel the tattoo, man. I must have been really drunk. Oh, you were. You don't remember what you said to the guy while you were getting tattooed? I was passed out. No, you were blacked out, partner. Really? Well, they were telling me the things I was saying, which was kind of off color and off key for me, you know, sober. I would never say that to anybody. We get home. We're sitting there. I'm thinking, man, I got to look at this tattoo. The guy told me, don't touch the tattoo for two or three days. You can shower with the patch on and everything. So I've showered on it for a day or two, you know, and I'm like, oh, I got to look at this tattoo. I pulled it off, and when I did, it was wrinkled color everywhere, you know, like a new tattoo. Well, when it finally flaked off and everything, it was looking good and everything. I was, like, checking it out. Did I say, don't mouth your tattoo artist? Look at my tattoo that he gave me. Not the boob, not the gorgeous woman, but her mustache. I've had to live with that for almost 30-something years, 40 years. Don't ever mouth your tattoo artist. That's one thing that really happened to me. There's a lot more. Thanks for coming in and listening to my rant and rave. I hope I made you smile. Maybe I helped somebody that's going to get a tattoo go in there sober. It don't hurt that bad. It really don't. I got them all over me now. So, yeah. But never got that one covered up because I, 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 it's there to remind me. 
hit like, subscribe. Thank you so much for coming in here, man. And I hope I made you smile. And if not, I'll just keep doing harder things. I'll just keep working at it. I'll pull some of the ones out of the depth. No. Keep smoking, guys.